proud of the fact that I was able to compete as a competitor. Last December, rare figure skater Marin Honda, 20 years old, took last place in the short program at the Japanese Championships. The tournament was her last as an active figure skater. Before the tournament, she had an accident that injured her right hip joint, and I can't deny that her performance was poor. However, she skated as hard as she could while her boyfriend Shomu Uno, 26, watched from the audience. Told by a sports reporter. She is the older sister of 19-year-old actress Miyu Honda, and has starred in commercials for major companies, so she has the image of a talent, but her true talent is real. In March 2016, when she was in her second year of high school, she won her first World Junior Championship, defeating the Russian team, which had won five championships in a row. Following in the footsteps of past stars such as Mao Sada and Miki Ando, she quickly became a player to watch, as she paved the way for success for young female skaters. From a young age, she could skate beautifully from any angle. Combined with her outstanding looks and long limbs, photographers on site praised her as capable of taking pictures in the best riding atmosphere. After Honda announced his retirement, a number of television programs are considering hiring him. Besides being a beautiful figure skater, she is a hot topic, but she also has a good image as she is a JAL ambassador, and will graduate from Meiji University's Department of Political Science and Economics this spring. Their skating abilities have been proven, so she can be used as a sports commentator or presenter. This is cool. Last July, she performed a dance routine with K-pop idol La Seraphim on a music program, and received good reviews, so she has the ability to react well, and is suitable for TV, where she will be in demand. After performing in ice shows as a professional figure skater, she entered the entertainment industry, tried her hand at acting, and starred alongside her sisters. Her dreams are only expanding, but she is also curious about her future with her boyfriend. The relationship is going well, Uno appears on the Honda sisters' YouTube channel, and shows how happy they are. From now on, we will support him in his competitive career and look forward to their future if they end up getting married. Honda is sure to captivate audiences in the entertainment industry as well. On January 17th, professional figure skater Yuzuru Hanyu updated his Instagram. On this day, 29 years after the Great Hanshin Uwaji earthquake, he sent a message to the affected areas. January 17. For me, it was about a month after I was born, the two-time Olympic champion began the text, adding. I don't remember anything about it and I'm not involved in it, so all I can do is pray. It may be presumptuous. He commented. And the Great Hanshin Uwaji earthquake. Great East Japan earthquake. And an earthquake on the Noto Peninsula. May any scars and scars never be erased from memory or record, but let them be purified. And for those who still wear them, I hope I can continue to support those who want to continue to support and those who need support, even if just a little. I will continue to pray. The 29-year-old figure skater from Sendai City, Miyagi Prefecture, was a victim of the Great East Japan earthquake that occurred on March 11, 2011. The Sendai Ice Rink, which was his training base, was damaged, and it was difficult to continue skating. Because of this, he must have taken measures to heal those affected by the earthquake. Yuzuru Hanyu, who turned professional in 2022, performed at the Saga Arena in Saga City. This was Hanyu's first solo performance in Kyushu. It attracted approximately 5,500 spectators from Japan and abroad. Mr. Hanyu danced brightly on the silver board installed in the new arena. The production combines life with the world of play, making full use of video technologies, such as large screens and projection mapping. After completing a magnificent stage to mark the new year, he exuded a sense of satisfaction, saying, I'm very happy that I can write in front of everyone. Within this ice story, I want to convey to everyone different things as a story. I hope you enjoy skating, which is a creature in the story, along with the story. I created with the idea that it would be cool. It was two and a half hours where he brought the program to life and performed with all his heart. The show opened with the song Someday Ends Dream, from the popular game Final Fantasy X, and he performed some quality jumps, spins and steps. When he performed the Encore Seime, a free program from the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, the crowd gave a standing ovation, and excitement reached its peak. In the new program Herald of Destruction used on this tour, there was a scene where he falls while jumping. Its history and the performance was top-notch. 
Even after turning professional, he continues to achieve success, including an extraordinary solo performance at the Tokyo Dome. During the conversation, he revealed that people around him had recently told him, maybe you don't have to work so hard and risk your life so much. Fans also express their concerns through social media and other channels. He himself talks backstage about his solo tour, in which he rides alone for long periods of time, saying, it's hard, and I'm very proud of it. However, Hanyu says, I wouldn't be satisfied unless I cut down on work and work hard. Right now, I want to express all my power, even if it means sacrificing my soul. The situation in the world is unstable, and in Japan there was some grim news, such as the possibility of an earthquake on the Noto Peninsula. Mr. Hanyu, a survivor of the Great East Japan earthquake, said, The world is really in trouble now, and the situation in the Noto Peninsula is the same, and the situation in the world is still not very good. I'm sure people are worried about different things, even personal ones. I think so, he said, empathizing with those on the verge of suffering. The performance that day held the hope that everyone could enjoy it, even if it was just for a little while. Tomorrow will come until we stop moving forward. So there may be times when we don't want to move towards tomorrow, but I felt that way myself on March 11th, so I hope everyone takes a moment to share their thoughts. But I would be happy if through this story I could make people think about moving towards hope and working hard tomorrow. Believing in hope for tomorrow, Mr. Hanyu will continue to skate flexibly and strongly this year. A short interview given by Yuzuru Hanyu at the end of the first day of his solo Shori Prain saga. What are your impressions after finishing the first tour first show in Kyushu at the beginning of the year? I was very happy to skate in front of you, and I really wanted to convey this size show to you as a story. I created it in the hope that you would enjoy both the story and the skating of its characters. I rode around hoping that you would all experience the story in different ways. What do you think about Saga Prefecture? I haven't been to Kyushu very often at this time of year. It was much warmer than I expected, but maybe that was just a coincidence. It's January, but it's so warm and the city has a very cozy atmosphere. Even while driving to the venue, I looked at the scenery and felt calm. What do you want to convey to the people of Saga Prefecture through your ice story? It's in the epilogue if you don't stop, a new day will eventually come. Maybe there are times when you don't feel like striving for a new day, I felt the same way during 3. 11 Great East Japan Earthquake of March 11, 2011, but I will be very happy if this story makes you even a little more motivated to pursue your dreams and fight again tomorrow. Together with Mikiko, Mikiko, Yuzuru Hanyu created all his solo shows. We offer you a translation of an interview with her from the booklet of Prologue, Yuzuru's first solo show, which took place in 2022. As a bonus, Yuzuru's final words. Han Yu measured the width of the rink and other parameters for us. He did all the measurements himself. They first combined Han Yu's skating and video projection the day before the first show in Yokohama, at Pia Arena MM. What surprised me most was how thoughtfully he skated. It also happened. I put into words the rumbling of my heart and a tangle of internal contradictions. I overcame these difficulties and realized that the meaning of life is here and now. All my fans are here. The androids repeat the movements of Hanyu's hands, the number of androids increases, and they seem to move differently. We achieved this by having the dancer, who was attached to the motion capture equipment, replicate the dance elements performed by Hanyu's upper body. I thought he could portray a shadow with a will. Hanyu knows how to maintain balance in his interactions with others. He is very cheerful and in excellent health, he has an excellent memory he remembers all the team members. Hanyu has a new way to express what he fought for, and what he can show the world now that he is a professional. Yuzuru considers figure skating to be as much an art form as a sport. At times he finds the technical component difficult and requires endurance. He compares himself to a candle burning his own life, which may bother people, but he would like us to get as much as possible, since this is Yuzuru Hanyu's form of self-expression as an artist and athlete. He asks to support his path. He will continue to work hard. As long as people come to his shows and want to see him skate, he will continue to learn a lot and dedicate himself to figure skating. <laughs>